hey guys and welcome back to my channel you know what it is you know what it do period so today i'm gonna be installing this t-part lace front wig for you guys and let me tell you it was a struggle it was a struggle and a half honestly i do not recommend you guys buying t-part wigs especially if you're like starting out because it's a struggle so just get just get the whole lace wig you know like just get that wig but this is how she turned out you're gonna see how it was looking in the beginning so this is a second hand wig let me just say that before anyone asks um i bought it of someone she didn't want it because she it sheds a lot which is true it does shed quite a lot but it's still very thick like very full um i'm not quite sure like where she bought the hair but once i find out I will probably put it like in the title or on the screen or somewhere it is 14 inches I did cut like layers at the front because that's just what works for my face so yeah I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and if you want to see more wig installs please do comment them below and I will do that with the wigs that I have or wigs that I might get don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. It's Josie High, TikTok, Josie High, Twitter. First time doing this, by the way. First time installing this deeper wig, but I think I did an okay job. So yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so before I start, I just wanted to show you guys what the wig looks like because I wanted to film first like the plucking process but then i was like I, I really don't feel like i really don't feel like doing that so i'm not gonna do it so it is a teapot wig as you can see like a tea that's where the name comes from knots are not bleached in any way i did not bleach them i'll just have to finish it some way i'm a bit worried honestly because like what if what if i can't finesse it so i'm gonna try and pluck it a little bit it's almost impossible because of how little the lace is but i'm gonna try and work my magic this is what she looks like at the moment i will film the installation part with you guys but i just wanted to show you like before i pluck like a bit you can see it's very dense the lace is very white let's see what i can do to it here i need to extend the parting and pluck the parting and i need to straighten it so i'm gonna straighten it probably cut like um cat and banks in the front but i think i'll do that with you guys and i will straighten with you guys i'll just install it with you guys and um yeah so you guys will see me when i'm done plucking period period i'm really hoping you guys can't hear the rain because you are by the window i don't really feel like setting up um everything so i hope that's fine bro so as you can see the lace okay let me show you the wig i have straightened her but the lace is like very white man it's very white so i'm just gonna throw some foundation in there um hopefully it will cover the knots as well because like i said i did not bleach this baby so that is what i'm gonna do and then just lock in the foundation with some got to be glue spray can already see that it's changing so you just put it all over the lace and as you can see it's not that white color anymore
Okay, it has stopped raining, so I think I can talk now. This hair that I took out, what we'll be using for the baby hair. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with eyeshadow. I am gonna go in with this shade over here and just put it on the part. So like when you remove baby hair, and then you like put it there like in that space and then you put on the lace itself honestly if you are like starting out with wigs don't get a teapot wig do not get a teapot wig it's difficult to work with i'm gonna go in with mousse because i really don't want like harsh baby baby hairs hopefully that does not leave this is for hair, it's not for the mouth, for the baby hair. Okay, so this is what I cut. Those are the sections I cut. I'm just waiting for my straightener to get cut. Oh yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, so this is the end result. It's kind of cute. What do you guys think? Do you think it's cute? Do you think I could have done a better job? So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, to subscribe, to like, and to comment. And if you want to see me do more like wig installs, please let me know. Um, so yeah, this is how the wig turned out. It's so cute, honestly. And yeah, like I always say, don't forget to do the things that need to be done, period. <laughs>